Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Webb and today I wanted to talk to you about Datto RMM. So Datto is an endpoint management software tool and what it does is it allows MSPs or managed services providers to have a better view or scope on what's going on with their clients or in their own network. This tool allows you to monitor devices and remotely issue commands. So once you place the endpoint manager on a unit, you can have root command line or terminal access to the machine and you can issue commands on a, I guess some people refer to it as a DOS level, but uh, you have access to do that such as shutdown, reset password, etc. Uh, you can also deploy updates and patches. Um, so if there is a security vulnerability for a known piece of software like AutoCAD or QuickBooks or just Windows updates, Mac OS updates, you can deploy that to a large array of computers at once and usually when we do this we just call our users and tell them to leave their computers on for the day or when they go home just you know be sure to sign out but leave your computer powered on um, one of the best features though is probably the ability to launch a remote desktop connection on the fly uh, nothing is more frustrating than walking through an incompetent user how to install something like team viewer and get it up and running so you can get it into the machine and do your job so being able to launch that connection super fast allows for you know really really quick issue resolution and it helps preserve your sanity. What can it do? Uh, this is kind of a continuation but there's one tool that they offer called Datto Workplace and Datto Workplace is something that allows you to have your documents or files in a centralized location and backed up so you don't have to worry about any kind of disaster or hardware failure or you know just otherwise downtime it's similar to OneDrive or Dropbox and basically you can choose folders or a folder like a user folder that gets backed up and then your users can access that personally on their own level and they don't have to worry about losing their files and if they ever do then you can just look in that folder for them and point the files right back to them uh, there's also ransomware encryption, so or ransomware protection with encryption. And what this does is there's a network appliance placed on the client's network, uh, usually in their server room. And what it allows is you to back up data to a NAS or some other secure location. And you can have that encrypted and constantly monitored. So if your client ever gets hit with ransomware or spyware or falls for a phishing email, you are not 100% proof, but you're pretty good at mitigating risk if you deploy this tool. Another thing is disaster recovery. They offer, they claim you can be six seconds away from your data. Um, this usually means that it's backed up to a cloud location other than just your personal server. So this is probably backed up in a <clears throat> to their own cloud server or service. After all, the cloud is nothing more than other people's computers. And this is compatible with almost all operating systems that I've come across and or that are used mainstream like Windows and Mac. But it also can go on Linux and mobile devices like iOS and Android. So it's a very, very versatile tool. Now address the elephant in the room is cost. Now in the networking industry, uh, $8,800 for a network appliance is not expensive. Uh, however, if you're an MSP, money's a little bit more tight than it would be for, say, a university or a big corporation. And so this can be expensive for some people. Um, but overall, this appliance is going to back up your data. It's going to be central. It's going to be probably the lifeblood of your client's organization. And so $8,800 is yeah, it's a pretty good price to pay for an industry or enterprise level hardware in a smaller business. It is $1,000 a month and that is just for, <clears throat> that's for your services and subscriptions. So, you know, having that cloud backup or that encryption or that 24 seven monitoring or that software licensing, you do pay for that. And if it's $1,000 a month going to Datto, then you also need to be making money on your own. And, well, it, de de depending on how your business model is, that may or may not be suitable for you. 
which leads into the next slide. Negative aspects. Um, this might require reevaluation of your contracts with your clients. Um, some of them may not value your services, and that's okay. But you might have to also create a new business model if this doesn't go your way. Uh, you have to be prepared to possibly give up some revenue. But with that, you create more possibilities for more clients and therefore more revenue. Um, if you don't have enough clients, the cost of this will outweigh the benefits. So if you're supporting, you know, under probably under a dozen smaller, medium sized businesses, this tool probably isn't for you. Uh, this tool is for organizations that are supporting over 20 to 30, sometimes even over 100 clients. And so this the cost if it's too low, uh, it just won't outweigh the cons. Some of the more positive traits of this tool are that you can be informed about what's going on with your clients before they even have time to know what's going on or submit a ticket. Uh, you can get information updates, emails, or you can even send out an email to your team and someone can jump on the issue right away. You have, you know, the risk of the mitigated risk you have with their backup solution means practically zero data loss unless your end user just is completely incompetent. And it also leads to low downtime. Um, practically with this tool you would be able to you would be able to create an illusion of no downtime at all with your end users. Um, the endpoint management allows for faster issue resolution and greater NPS or net promoter score. Uh, the faster you can fix tickets or fix people's issues, the faster they'll be happy with the results and, well, the more people talk about good things about your business, the more it means for you. Uh, they also offer API access for developers, so if you wanted a feature or um, an application to add to this tool or something in-house that you need to make, uh, they do give you API access so you can actually go in and do this yourself. Personally, um, I think this tool is great. I've used it for a long time, uh, ever since I started working for Run Business Solutions, and I think it's just a wonderful addition to the tool belt, and I've never used a tool like this before since I came there, and it has saved me so much time and so much frustration. So thanks for listening. Have a good day.